What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel once again. So last week, we took a look at the Xtool D1 Pro, the 20-watt laser. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Creality CR Laser Falcon that got sent to me. So let's just jump right in. Let's get this unboxed. Let's see what's inside, and let's try this out. Alright, so I got this all taken out of the box, and here is everything that it comes with. You can see the user manual. This is just the material to test with, which it's not a whole lot, just a couple pieces of wood, and that's it. So I'll definitely have to find some other things to engrave on to test this out once I get it set up. But you have the power cords, you have the whole assembly right here, the brackets, all the screws you're going to need, safety goggles, and of course, the laser which is the main thing. So I'll go ahead and get this all put together and we'll be back right after that. All right, so I got this all put together and this only took me about 15 to 20 minutes. So this is probably one of the quickest laser engravers I've ever put together. This was very, very simple. Just some screws on the sides, run the cable through the motor and around and back out, tighten it, slide the laser on and that was about it. So it was definitely, really quick. As you can see, it does have markings along the sides. That way you can see exactly the dimensions. This is 400 by 415. So it has a nice big volume. It does have a little lever here on the corner that you can see to make sure that your machine is leveled. Over here you have the power switch, the buttons, where the cord goes, the TF card, along with the USB-C. Now, I would like to point out that this did not come with a USB-C, but luckily I had one laying around, so not a big deal. But if you don't have one and you wanted to actually hook this up to your computer, you will have to purchase one separately. With that being said, though, one of the features that I really like about this machine is that you are able to do this completely offline. If you just download the G-code onto your TIFF card, put it in the machine, and just with a simple click of a button, you can start that, and I will show that here in a second. But I'm gonna show you really quickly. Also, it's super easy to level this. All you have to do is put your material underneath, and you can see it has markings for whether you wanna cut and the thickness or engrave it. So I'm gonna try out this basswood that's two millimeters. So let's show that right now. So in order to get this leveled, all you have to do is put down your material right underneath, you can set the knob to where it needs to be. And we'll set it right on top. Simply tighten the screws and remove it. And that's it. So now you have the correct height. So I'm going to be trying to cut a file that they already had prepared on the TF card. So let's turn this on and let's see how this cuts. So I have the TF card inserted. So I'll just power this on. And you can hear the beep. And now all I have to do is press the one button. It's going to home it. And now it's going to emit a light on where it's going to actually cut. And this will repeatedly do this until you get it in the correct spot that you want. And when you're happy with it, all you have to do is click the button again. and it begins cutting. So this has now finished. Let's take a look at it. And as you can see that cut that right out of there. There we go. A few pieces that still need to pop out 
I get a little flick. There you have it. So it did leave some charring on it, which was expected. Since I do not have the honeycomb bed on here, I just put down a piece of aluminum. And on the back, you can see, of course, there is some charring and it left some marks on the aluminum plate as well, but I can easily wipe that off. So I'll go ahead and try another engraving right now. And as you can see, I just picked this image off the computer. That's just the picture of a flower. So I already got this set up over in Lightburn and I already have this calibrated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start. We'll run a time lapse and let's see how this goes. So the flower has finished and let's take a look. I think that came out really good. So I'll go ahead and try a few more different materials on this and let's see how it works. So here I just have a piece of stainless steel and I'm gonna be going off of their settings, which is 500 millimeters per minute at 100% power. So let's go ahead and hit start and let's see how this works on stainless steel. Okay, so that has finished. Let's take a look. And as you can see, it came out. It is really light, but I could probably adjust the settings, probably slow it down a little bit to maybe 200 millimeters per minute at 100% power and see if it comes out any darker. But yes, it did work and that etched it just fine. So yeah, that worked. So I'm gonna run a few more tests on maybe a piece of leather maybe a tile, maybe some more wood. So I'll go ahead and get those shown and then we'll be right back to talk about this right after that. All right, so you saw all those things I just finished making. So I'll show these now. This was the tile that I did. And I could have, again, adjusted the settings on this. This is just a white tile, painted white. And I probably could have maybe adjusted the settings, make it a little bit more powerful, slowed it down just a little bit, just to make it a little darker. But overall, I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Here was the leather that I did. This is just a little lizard gecko type thing that i did and yeah i think that engraved it just fine on leather and i went ahead and cut out a little rocket ship and you can see some of the charring on here that happened but the top side looks just fine so overall what do i think of this machine i think this is fantastic i mean for the price for this 10 watt I think this is about 469, some, somewhere around there for it. For the five watt, if you wanted to pick up that one instead, I think it's like $100 less. So depending on what you're looking for, that might be a better route. But the 10 watt to me definitely has good power to it. It's able to cut out a lot of different things as you saw. So yeah, I think for the price point, this is really a good steal. I do like how this was very easy to set up. It only took me about 15, 20 minutes probably to get this all put together. I like how the power cords and all the adapters are in front with the switch. It has the leveling system in the corner over here so you can make sure that it actually is level when you're doing this. I like that it's very easy to move the laser up or down with just these knobs to raise it or lower it depending on whether you're cutting or engraving. So that makes it very handy to do. The other thing I really like about this is that this is extremely lightweight. This probably weighs, it feels like two pounds. This doesn't weigh anything. I could pick this up easily with one hand to move this if I need to bring it somewhere else. So very, very nice. I like that it has the one touch push. If you just wanna plug in the TF card from another computer, you can bring it in with just the tap of a button. It easily can start your engraving and you don't have to worry about 
plugging it into a computer or anything like that. I think the only thing I would change about this is that it did not come with a USB-C cord to plug in. So I had one already laying around, so I was okay with that. But keep in mind that if you do purchase this machine, you will have to use the TF card if you do not have a USB-C to plug into this. Well, that's all for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Get notified of all the new videos that come out each week by ringing the bell. And if you're interested in picking up this machine, I will put a link down in the description to where you can pick this up. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.